The most impressive three-year-old horse that we've seen racing at the meet is in this race. He's on the board at one to nine. It's not a matter of who will win this race. It's a matter of who's going to finish second and third. We're talking about number one, Senior Mark, with Kevin Wallace. This horse was purchased separately a couple weeks ago for $29,000. He looks well worth all that money. From the rail out, Senior Mark, then Linwood Hanover, Mr. Greek, Norwood Hanover, Poe Blue, and Chasm Ricochet. Armbro Elmira, false pretense and conceptual image on the outside. It's post time for the 10th. Let's head up to Reg for the final race of the night and see how Senior Mark makes out. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Going on out for the early lead on the extreme outside. False pretense. Senior Mark along the inside from between horses. As Norwood Hanover as they move on into the first turn, rushing up on the outside, coming on third, Poe Blue. Senor Mark is now fourth on the outside, Kazam's Ricochet fifth. Along the inside is Linwood Hanover as they race on over towards the quarter mile mark. And with the lead is False Pretense out by a length. Moving up on the outside, Poe Blue second. Along the inside, Norwood Hanover is now third. Opening quarter, 29 and one. Racing on through the stretch for the first time. Moving up on the outside, coming to challenge for the lead is Poe Blue. Poe Blue on the outside, false pretense in at the rail. Racing along in third is Norwood Hanover. And now far at the Senor Mark, racing fifth is Kazam's Ricochet. On the outside, Linwood Hanover is now sixth as they race on over towards the half. With the lead, false pretense by a length. Poe Blue now second. They reach the half in 59 seconds flat racing on down the back stretch false pretense still with the lead Paul Blue, Senor Mark now coming very quickly on the outside moving up on the outside into the action now as Linwood Hanover racing on over towards three quarters Senor Mark has the lead false pretense now second Linwood Hanover coming on the outside third Paul Blue now fourth on the far outside moving up with the rush Kazam's Ricochet racing on past three quarters Senor Mark has him there in 129 and 3 around the far turn with the late Senor Mark second Linwood Hanover on the outside Kazam's Ricochet third Paul Blue on the outside fourth way out wide coming on now Mr. Greek coming up to the top of the stretch Senor Mark now by a good margin racing second Linwood Hanover on the outside that's Paul Blue now third way out wide closing conceptual image on through the stretch Senor Mark in front So Senior Mark looks impressive again. He wins his third in a row, sets a new lifetime record of 159-3. and three. Pretty good buy, wouldn't you say? And uh, Kevin Wallace wins his fourth race of the night. Once again, he goes off as the heavy favorite of 1-9, finishing second the nine-horse conceptual image. Here comes Kevin into the winner's circle with Senior Mark. Three wins in a row for this call. His mother, Chestnut Salmon, used to race right here at Windsor Raceway. The horse was bred by... Uh, Anthony Genovese of Union City, New Jersey. Look at this horse. Here's anybody else in sight, and uh, this horse wins under wraps in 159 and 3. He is a non winner now of four races lifetime. But boy, he looks like he's a powerhouse, and he will be seen this summer, I'm sure, on the Ontario Sire Stakes circuit. He returned to 32 10, 2 10. Number 9, Conceptual Image, 343 10, and the 5 horse, Poe Blue, paid 330. The Exactor paid 1530, and the Triactor paid $77 even.